There are a lot of good what-ifs in the fandom. What if Clearsight had stayed? What if Lori had escaped from the caves and became an assassin? What if all the Dragonettes had her tribe's maximum power potential? But one that I've been pondering for a while is, what if Kestrel had kept Sky and Pharrell and flew away? Would they grow up happily, or would she have been a bad mother? I feel like the logic behind the what-if is more interesting than the actual what-if in this case. So today, I'm going to analyze Kestrel's personality and see whether or not she would have made a good mother. Before we get started, if you are new to this channel, please think about subscribing. I regularly post both Wings of Fire and Warrior Cats content so you'll never be bored. And to my current subscribers, thank you so much for supporting me. I wouldn't have gotten here without y'all. Without further ado, let's begin. In order to know how Kestrel would treat her own Dragonettes, let's look at how she treated her substitute Dragonettes, the DoD. Kestrel was undeniably abusive. In her fighting lessons, she used her claws and fire on the Dragonettes. It is a miracle that they don't have scarring in their designs. She got so fierce that the other Dragonettes would often have to intervene, just like the opening of the first book. Outside of training, she was also abusive. She once took away the Dragonettes' torches as a punishment and burned a scroll that Starfly was reading about the prophecy. She had many instances of verbal abuse. She called both Clay and Glory lazy and useless based on their tribe. She also called the Dragonettes who did not fight lazily and useless as well. In addition, she called Sunny defective because of her not having a poison barb, a common feature of Sandwings. Oh, and how could I forget that she was willing to kill Glory? She had no reservations about killing this Dragonette that she had an intimate part in raising in the last six plus years. She cared for her Dragonettes as specified in the prophecy a bit though. Enough that once she heard that they were in trouble, she went to meet with Moro Serum Blister to help them, which led to her death. However, she didn't care enough about them not to abuse them. It can definitely be debated how much of her abuse was caused by her still grieving over her own children and being placed with children once again so close after her loss. She could be taking her emotions out on them, not that that is an excuse. Or maybe she could have been an abusive dragon and she would have abused her own children regardless of their loss. Would Kestrel even like her own children? She tried to kill Skye. While she searched for him afterwards, the motive could be disputed. She could have been either trying to search to see if he was al still alive or to see and confirm that he was dead. So what would happen if she somehow managed to keep both dragonettes? When it comes to making an AU, we have to consider what Kestrel's first reaction would have been. Most importantly, would she have gone to the Towns of Peace for help? That's a difficult thing to consider. We do not know exactly why she went to the Towns of Peace. Maybe she had heard of them before, even interrogated a few of their members. When she was kicked from the Sky Kingdom, that was the only place she thought she could go, and she gradually became indoctrinated into their ideology. Or maybe Kestrel secretly detested a war after seeing all of her dragons die in battle or from their wounds. Seeing her dragonettes be born and her lives be threatened may have been the catalyst for her leaving. But we do not know, which makes it difficult to actually parse her personality from before she was kicked into the Skywing tribe. There are some things I think would stay the same regardless of motive. I feel like with her being a general and all, her obsession with strength would remain in the way she taught her dragonettes. As much as it hurts, Kestrel would most likely be ableist towards Sky. She called Sunny a defective salmon because she didn't have poison, so it is within reason that she would consider Sky a defective Skywing due to his lack of fire. She would also play favorites like she did with the Dragonettes. Peril would most likely be her favorite because she likes Dragonettes who have a fighting spirit. Sky most of the time would be kept on sidelines or out of sight, out of mind. I also do not think she would have been a good mother. Her parenting tactics would be mixed, and she may take on a survival to fit a stance in some circumstances. I feel like she would resemble Cor Cobra, Keebly's mother, a lot in that way. Let's start talking more specifically. If she raised the two dragonettes in the Talents of Peace, she would likely not have been a guardian due to having her own dragonettes to look after. Due to her military ex expertise, she may have become a scout, reporting information about the war if she had not become a guardian. In this future, Sky would have been close with the false dragonettes. He maybe would have been assigned to babysit them as they are not much older than him. Maybe this would have ended up tying in a bit with my what if Kestrel kept Sky AU a bit. Peril, on the other hand, would be taken by Kestrel on her scouting missions. Having the fire skills around his backup is valuable, and it would also help Peril learn the tools of the trade. Maybe Kestrel would have taught Peril how to fight, and started to influence the war using her daughter as an assassin. I feel like that wouldn't be the most realistic, but that would be the most fun, you have to admit it. 
If she raised the two dragonets outside of any dragon organization, I believe she would go to a sparsely populated area so Young Pearl doesn't burn anything down. I haven't thought of anything beyond that. What do you think would have happened if Kestrel kept Sky? Comment down below. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. I make Wings of Fire and Warrior Cats videos pretty often and your support would mean a lot to me. And to those who are already subscribed, thank you for your continued support. I would have gotten here without y'all. That's all. Peace out.